Today, we are going to find out which Celsius flavor stands above the rest. I have here, <laughs> I have acquired all 19 flavors of Celsius and I'm gonna be trying them all tonight. The first category will be fruit. My name's Pert Happily. <laughs> Group number two are vibe. I just wanna get a sound recording of opening one. Can I like not look at it? I'm going to be taste testing these without knowing the flavor and I'm gonna give them a score one to 100. And then at the end, we'll tally the scores and frown the king of the Celsius flavor. Flavor number one, right off the bat, it kind of looks like orange juice. Interesting, it doesn't smell like orange juice. I think in terms of flavor, this kind of tastes like a mango, like passion fruit type. It's not bad, but it's definitely not my favorite. Out of a hundred, I would give this a 64. Let's find out what the flavor is. <laughs> it is, oh, oh, it is peach mango green tea non-carbonated peach mango not two fruits that i typically lean for but i will say they weren't bad together it's just not i would say my favorite blend of fruits okay <laughs> flavor number two. Oh, and i also wanted to say every celsius there's 200 milligrams of caffeine so by the end of this uh i'm probably going to be bouncing off the walls oh much more of a bitter taste than the one before. It has like no smell, but the flavor is so strong. I don't know what flavor that is. It's like bitter though. It, it doesn't taste sweet. I'm gonna give that like a 43. Like that, definitely not my favorite. That was kiwi guava. Of course, it's two fruits that I've never eaten before. That's why I don't recognize the flavor. Definitely not something I would reach for uh, without tasting it prior. Maybe if you're a fan of kiwis or guavas, you'll get a kick out of this. But at least for me, I, I did not enjoy it. Flavor number three. Now, this looks like urine uh, right off the bat, not to make it less appetizing for you all. This also has no smell. Okay, I think I know what this is. I think I've had this one before and I will clarify and say I've had a couple of the flavors of Celsius prior to this tasting and I think I've had this one before and I'm going to wager that this is the lemon lime Celsius or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just a close flavor because it tastes like it's very similar to the memory I have of it, but it's also like there's something that's slightly off. I don't think it is the lemon lime. Now that the more that I taste it, the less I think it's lemon lime and the less I'm liking it. I think I'm gonna give it a 63. It was good, but it's not as good as like the lemon lime I remember. If it is lemon lime, I'm gonna look so stupid. This was orange? You're kidding me, hold on. That's what the orange tastes like outside of the can? What the hell? <laughs> that did not taste, I've had the orange before and that did not taste like what I remember the orange tasting like. And before this tasting, this was one of my favorite flavors. It's not bad, but it's, I don't know, it doesn't taste as good as I feel like I remember it tasting. Flavor number four. Now this one right off the bat, it looks like um like a wine, like a Chardonnay or like a Rosé or something. Kind of smells like a wine too. Not too far from the taste of a wine either. I mean, not alcoholic, but I feel like this could be the grape flavor because I've heard, I haven't tried the grape flavor, but I've heard it's like Welch's. So I feel like this might be grape. I'm gonna say this one's pretty good. It's it's not bad. I would give this one like a, I think I would give it a 66. Wow, mango passion fruit. That's what the mango passion fruit smells like? Oh my gosh, or tastes like, not smells like. I've seen this flavor so many times that I've never tried it. And I've always thought to myself, what does mango passion fruit taste like? And I always wanted to know if I would like it. It's not bad. It's probably not my favorite, but it's it's not not terrible. Pleasantly surprised. I'm already starting to feel that caffeine kind of kick in. I I feel my uh my heart beating really fast right now. <laughs> yeah, we got quite a few to go, and I'm already feeling the caffeine hit me. Um, I also wanted to say this video is not sponsored by Celsius in any way. I actually got all of these flavors from my job, so I managed to take home a different flavor every day from work with me until I had basically hoarded all 19 flavors like a chipmunk uh, that stores its nuts. Um, so. 
I got all these flavors basically at no cost. So the next flavor, this is number five. Yum. All right. Interesting smell. Tasting all these like uh, really, really, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Just these really intense fruit flavors back to back to back is making me question if I know fruit. You know, it's like, do is this a fruit? Like, do I know fruits? There's something I like about this and something I don't, but I think I'm going to give it a 59 because it's not bad, but there's just something in there that I just don't really like and I can't really tell what it is. All right. This is uh, OK. So the flavor was green apple cherry, and this is another flavor I haven't had. And I've been waiting to try this one for so long. I don't know what it is. I figured I would like that flavor a bit more, but there's something just a little bit off about it. I don't know something in there that it's just a little a little off it's almost perfect but with the green apple cherry this i don't know if it's a new flavor but i was able to bring home basically every other flavor of celsius except for the green apple cherry i went to the store they didn't have it in store i like looked everywhere for it and i couldn't find it eventually i had to order it online just so i could get my hands on it but if you're trying to find this one Good luck. Flavor number six. Now off the bat, this one looks like mellow yellow. This, it looks neon yellow, very fizzy too. Okay, that's gotta be the lemon lime. That is so good. Lemon lime is like my go-to when it comes to Celsius flavors. If that isn't the lemon lime, I'll be surprised, but I'm gonna rate that, I would say an 89. Like that is like a near perfect drink for me. No shot. It's Fuji apple pear. What the hell? Oh my God. I'm looking like such an idiot right now. Fuji apple pear. What? <laughs> I really just don't know fruits apparently, but I'm pleasantly surprised. That was a really refreshing flavor. It wasn't too strong. I. I that was pretty good. I think I'm going to definitely start like drinking this flavor more. Next flavor is this number seven. This one again looks like a rosé. It's like a dark reddish. Hmm. That's got to be cherry. There's got to be something cherry in there. Honestly, that tastes pretty good, too. I no wait. That might be watermelon. Oh, OK. Hold on. That might be. I think that might be watermelon. I think I know that fruit. I got to. OK. I think it's watermelon. I'm going to rank it. Let me get a final taste. That's good. I would give that a 92. That is near the top for me in terms of taste. And if it's not watermelon, I'm going to be shocked. Wild berry. OK, <laughs> OK. I'm finding out that I really I swear I know fruits. I know fruit. I will say wild berry is one that I used to drink a lot. I do like the flavor. So I'm glad to know that it still stands up in the taste because Wildberry, I think for me is one of the best flavors, but holy cow, I am, I'm going so confident in these and I'm getting schooled. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, next, this one, it kind of looks like a beer almost. Okay. We're easing back the reins. This one is not as good. It tastes like a, um, kind of like a flat apple juice. I mean, I know apple juice is flat, but like, you know what I mean? Ugh, no, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I'm not liking that one. I'm gonna give that one like a 51. My fucking heart is palpitating. <laughs> All right, let's see what it is. Strawberry lemonade. Wow, I thought for sure that would be a flavor I would like more. I mean, strawberry lemonade is such a universally liked flavor. I don't know how that didn't taste better. I do have a uh, disdain for lemons. I do like lemonade, but like it tasted like an authentic like lemonade with no sugar, you know? So but yeah, I thought I would have liked that more, but I'm, I'm really surprised by that. Uh, flavor, I think this is number eight. This one is like a like it's nearing like greenish territory in terms of flavor uh, or in terms of color. That's not bad. It's got kind of a mild flavor that I am appreciating with all these very intense fruit flavors back to back. I think I'm going to give that one an 87. As far as the fruit, I have no idea. This just kind of tastes like a very like a very non intense like fruit punch in a way. No way. This is the lemon lime. Oh, 
I thought lemon lime was my favorite flavor before this taste testing. It was still high up there. It was an 89, but for that not to be in the 90s, I have betrayed myself. Yeah, it's still good. I'd still drink that. Like, it's still, like, highly rated, but... Man, I thought that was going to be number one for me. Next flavor. We got another deep red. I feel like it's got to be like cherry or pomegranate or something. Uh, wait. Is that the grape? That has got to be the grape. That is definitely the grape. I know it is. Yeah, it tastes like Welch's grape juice, but without the sugar. Not bad. I will say I used to be a fan of like grape soda when I was a kid. It's not a bad flavor. I would give that a like an 87. Yep, I knew it. Okay, I do know my fruits. This is evidence. Grape Rush. I I I think you could pretty well taste the uh, the grape flavor in that. Not bad. I was actually apprehensive. I, you know, was nervous about trying it because, you know, grape is a very, it's a hit or miss flavor. When you have grape flavored things, it's either like the best grape tasting ever or it's the worst. This is kind of in the middle. <laughs> All right, next. So this is flavor number 11. Okay, like right off the bat, it tastes very similar to the grape flavor, but it's like a little bit milder. I don't know. It tastes like it's going to be like berry something or other. It, it has the flavor of like something mixed with berry. It's not bad. I would rank it like a 70, like a 73. Rot, <laughs> rot, ras, <laughs> raspberry acai green tea. Okay. So acai is technically a type of berry, and raspberry is also technically a type of berry. So I wasn't too far off, but still, I'm surprised this one wasn't higher. This is like it used to be one of my favorites, and I highly recommend this flavor, but yeah, that's surprising. I used to love this flavor. It used to be my go-to. Interesting. So this one has like a slight like orange hue to it. Ugh. It tastes like um apple juice. Ugh, yeah, I'm not not a huge fan of that. I would give that like a, like a 62. I don't even know what kind of flavor that is. If it's like mango or like pineapple, it's got like a bite to it. I, I don't know like what fruit that would be. Wait, that was watermelon? <laughs> watermelon is literally one of my favorite flavors. I drink it so often. That is the watermelon flavor? Oh my God. Yeah, interesting. And um, yeah, I'm learning that a lot of my favorite flavors are not holding up very well. I can already feel my eye starting to twitch from the amount of caffeine that I'm consuming. So if you see my eye twitching throughout the video, ignore that. <laughs> OK, so this is the final flavor in the fruit round. Uh, it looks kind of like yellowish off the bat. It tastes like apple cider, like it tastes like a like a cider drink. That's not bad. I don't love it, but I would give it like a like a 75 maybe. What's the flavor? Okay, strawberry guava. So the guava was the one I had earlier that I didn't really like that much. So I guess it's not the guava that I necessarily had a problem with or if I did, the strawberries covering it up really well because that wasn't that bad. The next round is going to be the vibes. Uh, before I do move on to the next round, though, I am going to take a palate cleanser of Triscuits uh, before we move forward. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very dry and flavorless. My producer, Sarah, has been trying all of these with me and ranking them herself. So uh, at the end, you'll not only find out which one is my favorite, uh, but also her favorite, too. Also, if you are looking for the best anime stickers that money can buy, you can shop at Sarah's store, the We part on Etsy. Uh, use code Hawaiian shirt for 20 percent off. I'll leave the link down in the description. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the second round of flavors, which is the vibes category Whew. okay starting off the vibes category i feel my heart like beating through my chest right now and my hands are slightly shaking completely normal oh okay oh, oh okay right off the bat it's cloudy and i can definitely tell it's like a medley of flavors it tastes like a pineapple cocktail almost 
Oh, yeah, I definitely do not like that. I would give that like a 40 even. Uh, this is fantasy vibes. Uh, sparkling mandarin marshmallow flavor. I feel like I should like that. Sparkling mandarin marshmallow. Try saying that 10 times fast. I don't know what it is. It like it should be good, but it's just got this like I just spewed. I think it maybe it's just the mandarin is like it's too like bitter of a flavor at the beginning and like I don't taste any marshmallow in there. Off the bat, this one looks like Coke. And I will say in the fantasy category, there is one non fantasy named drink that is just labeled cola flavor. And I feel like just looking at this, this is probably going to be it. Oh, yeah, that's definitely cola flavored. I know that one. Honestly, like tasting the cola next to all these fruit flavors, I don't know if it's just because it's like the only non fruit that I've had, but it's tasting really good right now. I think I would give this like an 89 and yep, uh, sparkling cola, pretty recognizable. You know, it is like the one non like fruit based flavor. Pretty good. Honestly, if you're looking for like a substitute for soda and you want something that doesn't have, you know, as many calories or any sugar uh i would definitely recommend this as a substitute i know like growing up i had a real like addiction to soda i would drink like three sodas a day um which i know for some people now is not that many but you know it, it kind of is and so i you know when i found celsius i used it kind of like as a ah <laughs> uh, bless me but yeah i kind of use celsius as like a a low calorie option uh, as like a substitute for soda. It feels like a healthier choice than soda, so that's why I, you know, started drinking it. All right, next, <laughs> I rambled. Okay, this one, again, looks like mellow yellow. <clears throat> why did my voice just crack there? It's like a bright neon yellow green. What the hell? That tastes like Mountain Dew. I don't know if I'm tripping, but that... That genuinely tastes like Mountain Dew. Holy shit. I don't know what flavor this is, but I'm going to start drinking it. This is good. Wow. I think I would give that like a, like a 94. That is surprisingly good. Okay, which one is it? Tropical Vibes. Interesting. I've never had this one before. Sparkling Starfruit Pineapple. I've never had a star fruit, but man, they did a great job with that pineapple flavor. It's not like it doesn't have much of a bite at all. It's surprisingly sweet. That is definitely one I'm going to have to start drinking more. All right, next. Okay, definitely a downgrade. Yeah, that one is uh, it's not bad, but right after the last one, this one tastes like so much worse in comparison. I would give this like a 69. Let's see, Arctic vibes. In what world is this an Arctic vibe? Why would you not make it like white or blue like the can? Like why, why is Arctic vibes yellow? What is Arctic vibe? Sparkling frozen berry? That does not taste like a sparkling frozen berry. It literally tastes like lemonade. That has probably been the most surprising flavor of the night. I, Cause I've, I've seen Arctic vibe and I was like, oh, I know what that's going to taste like. It's going to taste like not that like it does not taste like the name sounds. That's, I feel betrayed. All right, what number are we on? Another neon yellow one. I'm finding out that a lot of the vibes are like neon yellow. At least like the regular ones are, you know, color coordinated based on their fruit and name. Okay, that that's definitely a level up. That's a step up. Not as good as, you know, two ago, but definitely better than the last one. That one, it's got something like a peach, like mango type flavor to it. I think it's, or I would rank this, let's see. I would rank this like a, like a 78. It's not bad, not my favorite. Let's see, this one is peach vibe. Okay, all right, sparkling white peach. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not much of a, a peach fan, but I can definitely taste it now. Definitely a step up from the last one though, so. Still, still pretty good flavor. Is this the uh, last one of the uh, the vibes? Okay, so this is the final flavor. Leaving off the vibes category with a red one, unlike the past like three, which have been neon green. Yeah, that tastes dreadful. I'm getting huh, flavored out here. Um, God, it tastes like 
it tastes like like fruit medley, but not sweet at all. It's like they took kind of like the acidity and like citrusy flavors of a bunch of different fruits and then put them together and this is what you get oasis vibe okay okay that one fits the name a little bit i will say sparkling prickly pear lime edition okay i can taste that yeah it i can i think this one it works so even though it's not like my favorite i think uh it does taste as the name suggests oh i didn't I guess it's 65. All right, so while Sari, Sari, <laughs> who's Sari? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, while Sari, <laughs> <What? laughs> my brain is moving too fast in front of my words. And so I'm like combining words together. Okay, while uh, Sari, <laughs> Uh, while Sarah tallies up the scores, I did want to let you all know if you're interested in hearing the story about how I first uh, found out about Celsius and, you know, why I drink it. You can find that over on my podcast, Steady Decline. I'll make sure to link it. All right. So let's find out what my top three uh, Celsius flavors are. Number three. Let's see what I have in third highest. Fuji apple pear. Okay, I was not expecting that one to be in third place. That is a surprise to me. I gotta say, never. <laughs> I would not have guessed at the beginning of this that that would be my third place. What did I rank it? 89. Wow, I ranked that really high. That's really surprising. Okay, what's what's my second flavor? Wild berry. That's crazy. I used to drink wild berry. It used to be my favorite. I, I'm amazed that it held up. Uh, what did I give this one? That was a 92. 92. Okay, interesting. I might have to go back to the wild berry. Apparently, I like it more than I realized. What was my top ranked one? Wait, tropical vibe. That was not my number one. Tropical vibe was my number one? Coming in at 94. I ranked Tropical Vibe at a 94. I said it was Mountain Dew. I said it was Mountain Dew? What? What a weird selection. I am baffled right now. None of the flavors that I thought were going to be in the top three ended up in the top three. I am, I am utterly baffled. So I'm going to try all three of these head to head to head. So that way I can truly make sure that I crown the best flavor of Celsius. Fuji apple pear. Oh yeah, that is really good. I'm so surprised. I did not think that apples and pears together would make a really good flavor because on their own, you when you eat an apple or a pear, you wouldn't really think that it's like a good enough flavor to be in a drink form. That's surprisingly good. Okay. Next is sparkling wild berry. Oh, that one is so good. I don't know. Maybe I just developed a fondness for it, but like that one is, it's such a good flavor. It's so sweet and crisp. It, I, it just knocks it out of the park. And then tropical vibe, my surprisingly, surprisingly, surprisingly high ranking one. Uh, Wow, that one is really good. <sighs> okay, I think I have an idea of how I want to rank these. I think I'm ready. All right. So in third place, I'm going to put Fuji apple pear. It's pretty good, but it just like the, the other two are just on a different level. This one has somewhat of a slightly bitter aftertaste that just knocks it down just a little bit. So that's going to be my third place. All right. Before we find out what my uh, favorite flavor is between these two, I wanted to ask Sarah, what was your highest rated flavor? All right, so Sarah's was 
Peach Vibe. Okay, what did you rank this one out of 100? 95 out of 100. Wow, that is high praise. So I guess if you love peach flavored things, like Peach Vibe is the way to go. What did I rate it? Seventy-eight. So we are definitely different on this one. Uh, yeah, Peach Vibe. I guess you know for some people is is really good. Uh, what it, what was my lowest rated flavor? Fantasy Vibe was my lowest rated flavor. What did I rate it? A forty. Your least favorite was cola. Rated at a thirty. Wow, that's pretty low. That's lower than anything I ranked. All right. So before I crown the king of the Celsius flavors, uh, if you are interested, I do have a Patreon, which has behind the scenes and exclusive videos and content. Uh, if you wanna check it out, the link is down in the description. Okay, so after 19 uh, flavors of Celsius, a lot of eye twitching and heart palpitations, I feel confident in naming the best definitive flavor of Celsius, Tropical Vibe. Uh, honestly, with this flavor, I was really surprised by it. I'd never had it leading up into this. I don't even know what a star fruit is. I'm not even sure if that's a real fruit or if that's just made up, but whatever it is, it tastes really good in this. I was really surprised. Uh, of course, number two would be Wild Berry in the second place. Uh, really good, uh, strong contender, but overall this tropical vibe, it was like a little sweeter, a little bit more of a rounded flavor, and really it, it was overall just the best flavor. Now we know what the definitive best flavor of Celsius is. Have you tried Celsius? What's your favorite flavor? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you'd like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Uh, and if you'd like to connect with me on my other platforms like Twitch, Discord, uh, you can join those communities using the link down in the description. I'll see you guys there. Wow, nice. All right, are you ready to drink all of these cans of Celsius at once? <laughs>